OpenAI O3 and O4 Mini High provides a rare glimpse into what OpenAI GPT-5 would be. This is exactly what O3 and O4 Mini and O4 Mini High are really good at. These models are not just normal LLMs, they've got access to tools and the best part is that the models know when to use a which tool. Along with that, OpenAI also introduced something called thinking with images. This, in my opinion, is a rare glimpse into where GPT-5 would be or could be heading into. First of all, I would like to show you a very simple demo that is going viral online. So you can go to any place, like for example, it doesn't have to be a picture from internet. Grandmaster, Chess Grandmaster Hikaru Nakamura, on April 13, 2025, he posted a picture. He said, feels like a good day to go for a nice long jog and this is Paris Marathon. There is no way this particular tweet could be part of the training data. So that is why I went to Twitter and picked the recent image. Also partly, I don't think Elon Musk would let Sam Altman use Twitter data and then just simply say, guess this place to O4 Mini High, which is honestly my favorite model. You can see that it thought for 44 seconds. First, it said the user showed me an image and then it already read this particular text. I mean, if you are a GeoGuessr fan, you would know one of the most important things that GeoGuessrs would do is immediately go read any road signs. And this is almost like a, being trained by a GeoGuessr. It took the image and started reading it. In fact, what it did is it zoomed in read the text and then finally then told me that this is Paris. Also very interestingly did as you can see that it decided to use various tools. At one point it decided to crop the image, then zoom the image and also then go do search the web. The next one that I want to do is I'm going to take an image from the internet and this screenshot, I can take the screenshot and then give this to ChatGPT and just for four seconds it thought oh four mini high and then said, looks like the user's hint is pointing towards an outdoor scene, a chess game, and a crowd of people watching. Really, it came to me and then told me that this is New York City, which itself is a really interesting guess that it managed to guess the city just with an image that I gave. This time with a screenshot from a very popular New York Times games. This is called connections. Basically, you have to make connections between all these words. I said, solve this. That's the only prompt I gave, nothing more than that. And you can see it thought for one minute, 37 seconds. It went through a lot of different combination and then finally gave me the answer. So I've already added this one, talk, speech, lecture, and address. Talk, speech, lecture, and address. And now let's see the second one, hot, dry, sandy, vast. It says, this is all desert descriptions, descriptors. Hot, dry, sandy, and then we have got vast. So I'm gonna select submit. And then it's the right answer, adjectives for a desert. The third one, it has got a different dog breeds, lab, golden, cho, bully. So lab, golden, cho, bully. Submit it and it knows it's a different dog breed informally. And then finally, we've got pop culture numbers. Can you believe it? Intro class, James Bond, cannabis, devil. Intro class, James Bond, cannabis, devil. Submit it and then it says, this is represented by three digit numbers. It is so mind blowing. I've played this game so many times. I've hardly cracked this game. And then finally, what I'm going to show you, honestly, like when I did this, it blew my mind. And that is, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to solve a Sudoku for me. I'm going to pick a hard problem. It says only 49% of humans have solved it. So 51% of humans could not solve it. At least like more than 50% of humans couldn't solve it. So I'm going to just take this. Without any clue, I'm going to just go to ChatGPT, paste this image, and I'm going to say, solve this. The image is being pasted, and then I'm going to send this. And once I send this, you can notice that it is going to start thinking, O4 oh, mini high. It is starting to think. So the user has shown me a Sudoku image, asked me to solve it. It's a nine by nine. I, I noticed something. So it says, the shading seems to cover the first three by three block, but I realize it's just the first block. So it's trying to understand what we have given and it is trying to see all those things like the different things that we have given and it is doing one by one so it has taken the entire image right now you can see that immediately it's just doing chain of thought with text then it is using image to do chain of thought and then suddenly it is going to go into some um, python code and then trying to understand the image size then it is looking at the image uh, dimensions the pixel so it's trying to draw the grid here so you can see it has managed to draw the grid but I can already see that it has made a mistake with row six. So 
it's uh, not going to work uh, because it's made a mistake with row six. You have got the final number here, zero. There is a zero there, so it's made a mistake. So it's going to be interesting to see if it actually can give me the right answer. And after all these items, you can see that it has corrected it. I did not have to tell this. I did not have to go to chat GPT and then say, hey, you made a mistake while you're translating the Sudoku into text. It made sure that it went through different iteration, different tools, and then finally got the right grid setup here. So at this point, you can see that it has confirmed that the grid setup is correct and it is like fine. Uh, so it's, it's trusting all the numbers. So it is moving to the solution part and then it's got a solution which is it's trying to create using Python and then it is thinking, oh, I've got two different solutions, which is kind of weird. So how is it going to play? So it's now discussing within itself that there is like two solution, one is solution one, solution two, which could be possibly because it might have made some mistake in the input image that when it translated. So it's going back again to just make sure that it did not miss out anything and then validate the solution that we have got. And it also managed to figure out that there is one particular number that it missed. So it says, oh, it looks like we have discovered that block four has given at row four, column three, R4, C6. And then it says, oh, maybe we missed. So after eight minutes of thinking, eight minutes of image transformation, eight minutes of zooming and panning and cutting, it finally said, oh, I have finally got one solution because it can't have two solution. So it says, I've got one solution. Then it used Python and then it has created the final solution. So it's eight minutes. Now we're going to see the solutioning part to see if it actually works. So let's solve this together. So I've got four, eight, two, seven, five, three, one, nine, six. And I've got six, nine, three. So we have successfully finished one square until now. Two, one, eight, seven, four, five. And then we have got four, nine, six, eight, three, two. I don't know if you are Sudoku fan, but this is very interesting the way it has done everything. Nine, six, two, three, seven, eight, three, six, seven, one, eight, five, four, two, nine and then we have got a full row here eight two and nine three seven four this is like probably the most controversial row that we had gotten three seven five six one and then it says two seven six and then you have got five three one i'm feeling a little anxious at this particular point whether it will do everything properly and uh, one three eight six four nine and you can see like so far we have uh, been doing good without any conflict two five seven nine four five eight two six one three okay so we have successfully managed to solve a sudoku using chat gpt 04 mini high which is a reasoning model and you can see that the kind of thought process it went through, all the different things that it did, it identified its own mistake, it tried to fix its own mistake, it went into different zooming, panning, understanding empty rows, empty squares, understanding the three by three grid, everything it did, used a Python solver, it got two solution, then it realized, oh, Sudoku can't have two solution, so it must have made some mistake, went back, fixed this mistake, came back, ran the solution again, got only one solution and then finally gave it to us. This is honestly mind blowing for me. And this is what I believe is like an entire system of different kind of tools working together seamlessly to provide a solution to what the user wants. This is definitely not AGI or anything that people claim to be, but I find it one of the most fascinating part is how OpenAI managed to do everything together like a system. It's like one goal and then it does everything so seamlessly well. Let me know what you think about this. See you in another video. Happy prompting.